Hello everyone, welcome back to All The Mods 8. So in the last episode we did set up some automations for some Batania and I'm going to continue on that theme because I flipping love Batania, especially trying to automate everything, it's just like, it's really fun to me. Also this is a modular router, if you couldn't see it, it, it's got a camo upgrade in it and it turns it into a slab. I couldn't think what to put here so it's a slab. Yeah, right, anyway. So today, uh, we're gonna do a little bit of not just Batania, but kind of bees as well, because we might as well make some Batania bees, right? And to do that, we do need to go over to our bee area. Um, more precisely, we need to get in here. This is our, our bee thing. Oh God, where's my... There it is. This is the machine we need. Ah, wait, wait. That's not it. Yeah. yeah, there we go. So, we need to make some iron bees. Iron bee. One of those. So, to make an iron bee, it's a... Oh, there, there, there was a crystalline B in there. Oh wait, this has got a crystalline, right? Yeah, crystalline B. So we got one of those, and we just need an ashy B. Ash. Wait, these are my my bees over here, right? What the heck is that? Oh wow, yeah, that is not the B that I thought it was. Oh, did he just plonk in there? I think he did, you know. Excellent. Oh, well, that's fine. That's going to gum this up. That, whatever. It's all good. That was an apotheosis bee. So we need an ashy mining bee, which I think we can get a bee cage. Ah, bee cage. We've got some bee cages. There's a starry bee and there's a Patrick bee. Okie doke. Uh, if we pop outside, we might have an ashy mining bee. Let me have a look around. Neo Cuckoo, Neo Cuckoo, Blue Banded, Regular Bee. Um, blue Bandit, okay. Do we not have an Ashy at all? There's a chocolate mining bee right there. Okay, how do we get the Ashy bee? Um, okay. Got the nest recipe. Okay, let's do the dirt nest, because that will tell us all of them. So, leaf cutter comes from there. Ashy mining bee comes from a dirt nest. Are all of these taken? No. Okay. So, we need some honey treats. Let's just grab a bunch of honey trees, because why not? Uh, we can just spam this one over here, and this should. What about that one over there? Yeah, do that one as well. Spam all of these honey treats in there. I'll just get us it qu a little quicker. I'm so, like, impatient nowadays, considering we've got, like, the, the acceleration wand and stuff, so... Acceleration staff. Oh, you're kidding me. You didn't just... Okay, what did that one give us? Leaf cutter. That's not what we wanted. Maybe I shouldn't have done it in here, because there's loads of bees. Okay, I popped out here because uh, the bees kept popping in just as it was about to turn... Well, to produce a new bee. So we're just going to spam this until it gets down to quite low, like that. That'll do it. Let's get a, more, a few more of these, just in case. That is Ashy Mining Bee. Oh, never mind. Okay. Well, we can pick this up now. And then... Yeah, we can breed this up and we might get... Oh, actually, I think you get the choice nowadays. Never used to get the choice. So, where's my breeder? There it is, right there. Ashy Mining Bee. 
Okay, it's got pretty bad, like, stats, but that's fine, because we're not after the stats. Uh, I thought you were supposed to remove and place the B back in to change the output. Aluminium, aluminium. In the interest of your sanity, I'm going to cut out the five minutes it took me to get this. Ah, I literally just stopped recording, and then I got the IMB. Okay, let's get some tulips. Pink and red, why not? And then this should pull, and then push into here. Oh, and I sped this up with the acceleration stuff, got ya. Is that not going to pull? I can't remember what these ones do now. Oh, right, there we go. That's going to speed it up, or grow it up, I mean. That then goes into here. That gets dispensed. That gets pushed out. That comes into here. And then all of those, like, crush down. Okay, where's the... Looking for iron. Ah, productive bees iron. That's the one we're looking for. That's also iron. Oh wait. Yeah. <laughs> nice. Uh eighty one percent, so we just need a few more bees. And then when they come through, we'll have enough iron bees. Okay, I added an egg and the honey treat for iron. This is still going because, well, we're going to get loads of iron out of this, but that's fine. Um, hopefully, we will get the... Come on. <laughs> we'll get the uh, the iron bee from this. Eventually. And there we go. Cool. And now we can use this. Iron bees. Lovely. Yeah, we can use this in a mana pool. Oh, you can get an Ismium be. That's actually really useful for all of the occultism stuff that we aren't going to set up. And you can get a compressed iron bee. That's also really useful for the pneumatic craft stuff we're not going to set up. But more importantly, you can get a mana steel bee, which is something we are going to set up, so perfect. Uh, but over here, where is it? we got loads of crystalline right there, but <laughs> we're going to get a couple of how many iron bees should we get? I want to get 10, because then we can get... Wait, how do you make... Elf steel? No, what, what's it called? The the other one. Elementium, that's the one. How do you get elementium bee? Elementium... Is there not an elementium bee? There is an elementium bee. How do you make that, then? Oh, you just lob it in there. Okay, so we need 15 altogether, because I want to get 5 bees of each. Just makes sense, right? That like there's five slots in this. So we get five mana bees, five elementium bees, and five terra steel bees. I just I think that's a good number. And we're not gonna set them up anywhere special. We're just gonna chuck them over by the Britannia area. And they're all just gonna be simulated and have you know the, the little block in front of them like this. Yeah, and it'd be all good. How's this doing? Are you all backed up? Yeah, you are. Perfect. <laughs> That's not perfect. That's not exactly what I wanted to see, but... I should probably uh, add a couple more of these powered centrifuges over here. Yeah, I'm going to do that now. One sec. There we go. We're getting through the backlog. Ooh, very quickly. These ones are way quicker than these ones, and I don't understand why. I think these have got potency 2, and these have got potency 3, because this one's got... Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Where's my... Oh, poop. I think I put it back in here. Staff. Hey, where is it? I swear. Oh, there it is. Yeah. Now, this one's got efficiency and this one's got potency. Let's never talk about that again. There we go. All I had to do was break it and then add it back in. Okay. There we go. That seemed to fix it. Right. Anyway, um, that should have given us enough time to get Ah, just three more IMBs. I don't know how many this is. Okay, that's actually out of flowers. Tulips. Orange, my favourite colour. Um, 
Okay, maybe we don't use those. What what other flowers have we got? Dandelions will do for now. Why not? There we go. That, that should be making us some more. Wow, never mind. It's just got a lot of bees to get through. Uh, maybe the importer needs an upgrade right here. Or the... Is it an importer? Exporter. That's the one. Speed. Stack. We will get out of here eventually, I swear. There we go. I should just keep this up to date because I think that's the thing that was... Uh, like, making it lag is the fact that it didn't have enough honey treats. Or because this was trying to put in, but not enough was being made. Okay, this should be making us... Oh, you're kidding me. Oh, this thing's backed up. Right, it's actually not been that much longer later, but we've got all the iron bees uh, in their spawn egg forms. Which is what we need. Uh, did I put my... Oh, flipping egg. I put my thingy away. Uh, you know what we can do? That'll do it. We don't have to get that out then. Wait for it. Oh. Is Territory unloaded? Nope. There it is. Territory has done the job right there. Turn the rain off straight away. Love it. Right, so what we do with these, I think all 15 of them need to be mana bees, right? All 15 are mana bees, perfect. And I've already... Wait, what do I need for... Okay, we can do that. Yeah, we just need to add a recipe for that. Over here, like that. There we go. Not 15. Why do you want 15? Perfect. Uh, and then pop back over to ours. I might actually change this and put, like, a travel anchor everywhere for all of the different areas. So, like, we'll have one over there for elemental craft, which I'm quite happy to see on the ATM Discord. It isn't just my least favourite mod to do. Um, it seems to be everybody's least favourite mod. So, uh, I think it's just, it's so different and it doesn't really fit in this pack. I think on its own, it would be a really good, like, mod. But, because this is, like, all the mods, like, you can kind of forget about Elemental Craft, except you can't because it's part of the ATM star. So, right, anyway, where was I? Um, yeah, we've done that now. So, one, two, three, four, five. Terra Steel B. Okay, something funky was going on with the redstone. I think that's what I've decided. So I'm just pressing the button enough that we get all of our bees back. And we did get them all back. So that is good at least. Stick those in there. Let's do a single bee. Why does he get picked up? I'm so confused. Oh, you know what it is? Huh. Does it think it's this? Okay, where's the MBT? Tags matching. Uh, F3H shows the tags. One tag. Yeah, spawn egg configurable B. Is the tag that it's got. MBT one tag, okay. Parent spawnable. Oh, I didn't mean to click that. Um Terra Steel. Let's do match any Tags enabled. Let's leave it with tags and see what happens. Wait. It just nicked the tag as well. Oh, that's the wrong one. In, okay, so, so tags enabled is not true. I 
Okay, we're not going to be able to get it to pick it up. Let's just do that. Why not? Uh, that does mean that I have to go cancel this one over here. That will at least give us our B back, right? There it is. We've got five Bs again. Uh, I'll just do it manually. Screw it. There's only 15 of them. Uh, wow, it's only five of them, right? So, mana, diamond, mana, pearl. And we can click these on, but we don't want to click this one on because it will drop it. And there we go, finally. That was super slow. Oh my goodness. Okay, it's fine. We'll just... Uh... Yeah, I'm going to maybe put some on the other screen and wait for these to be done. Okay, I thought it was about time that we made the uh, Batania portal over here. I'm also using uh, the Everlasting Guilty Pools because... I mean, we can, right? So we might as well. Oh, brilliant. Right, I am going to hit that right there. I, oh, it is going to do a little pull. Obviously, these these two right here don't have m many of their, like, uh, animations or anything because <laughs> they, they, yeah, the shaders, again, it's all good. It's all good, right? Anyway, now we can chuck one of those in and we'll get ourselves, oh, actually, let's chuck the book in. Hey. Perfect. Right, we got one of each B now. So I think it should go yeah, like that. There you go. I am going to put those Bs. I'm going to put a Terra Steel one like here. I'll put the regular Mana... Yeah, Mana Steel one here. And then over like here, I'll have the Alf Steel. And that way it just represents, doesn't it? I feel like this should be over one. I forgot that these would take up space. Oh, what am I doing? Can I not just... Is this going to stop the... I don't know. Maybe not. Right. I like having them there anyway, so I'm going to stick them on this side. Where's the other... Where's the other pylon gone? No idea. Had to make a new one. That's all good. You can stick those two back down like that. If we had regular mana pools, they would probably like be draining right now, but I don't I don't mind. It's all good. Because these are everlasting, so it's all all good. Yeah, there we go. That sort of is working right there. Let's get some uh B Advanced Oak Beehive. So we want another one of these. And what else do we need? So we need the expansion boxes. One. Let's get another two of those. Perfect. Right, so this one is going right there. This one is going right there. This one is going there. Perfect. Yeah, something's a little off. I think this one needs to go over slightly, right? Does that look a bit more even? Yeah, perfect. Okay. Uh, we need to set up all of the stations and everything to, uh, like, smoosh down all of the honeycombs. And then I might just set that up over here, you know. And then we can have, like, a display thing above them. Yeah, I like that. Okay, these are now all set up. So they've got all of the productivity upgrades with the simulation upgrade. Uh, I've got a modular router which I've painted. And it's going into this one over here. Uh, yeah. So that's going to go into the powered centrifuge. Uh, that's going to pull from these first and then push into the powered centrifuge. I've got another modular router here, which is going to pull from this, just the, the like end results. And it's going to send it over here to this, this is my import chest. And now the only thing left to do, oh, by the way, I turned this one off for now. Because, 
There we go. We need to B cage the different Bs up. So one of those, one of those. Of course, they have different stats, don't they? For some reason, like weak endurance. I don't know what that means, but sure. Uh, they get random stats, that's why they're like that. I probably shouldn't have done these at the same time, because I'm going to get confused. No, I'm not. It's going to be fine. Stick those away. Right, so this one's element. Mana steels are there. There's the terra steel. There's the elementium. Terra steel, elementium. Okay. Let's start with the mana steel because it makes sense, right? So we stick those two in there. Mana steel, mana steel. That's a mana steel. That's a mana steel. And then these ones are the for the terra steel. Terra steel, yeah. And then I could do the breast over here. Oh my god, this takes a while. <laughs> and last one. There we go. I did forget that we needed to put a pollination block down. So I'm going to make some mana. Okay, I've got a load of mana steel, so I can stick one of those down at least. There you go. Those should be creating us some right there. Let's get a terra steel. Oh, flipping egg. Okay, we have to help that one because it didn't drop within a certain box for some reason. I should move this over one. Oh well, it's fine. That's going to make us... Oh, there's some more hiding back here. Brilliant. Oh, I didn't mean to put those in. How many was there? Okay, here we go. Chuck those in. Done. Oh, this is going to take a while. Uh, how, what is it for Terra Steel? Is it you get one per... It is one per. This is going to take flipping ages. Classic. I had to do some more debugging with this. Uh, you need to put the detector module before you put the sender module. That was the only thing that was different between this modulator down here and the one over there. But my Terra Steel was having a right old time. That's why I couldn't make the Terra Steel bees earlier is because this was just sending them off before it made a detector signal. Great. Anyway, right. Uh, so that is now nine Terra Steel. Get ourselves a Terra Steel block. They've updated the textures and they look awesome. You can just place it down like that. That'll start making. This one... Oh yeah, I turned this one off, didn't I? Let's turn that one back on. There you go. And that's being flung over there. And that should have made us mana, mana steel nuggets. Perfect. This one's going to make us terra steel nuggets eventually. Oh, we need some elementium as well. Okay, so... Oh, I was already there. Steel. So we need two blocks of this. Whoa, that's right at our Capabilities right there. That's fine. So we need 18 because each mana steel turns into Well, each two mana steel turns into one elementium And then we can just whoop, Get one of these lovely pink blocks right there and that will start making the elementium combs as well Excellent, you know what the last thing to do is uh, just to give these a little bit of a, a little bit of a help. One, two, three. One, two, three. We might need to set up more of the powered centrifuges. Oh, and by the way, I've already done flipping heck. Look at all of the the combs right there. Yeah, I've already sped this one up with the the staff as well. One, two, 
three. There we go. There you go, there's some more of those. What about the element? Okay, the Terra Steel's already gone through. Look, more Terra Steel. Ah, oh, that's way nicer. What the heck is this? Oh, from Silent Gear? No way. When did I get a hammer? Oh, that's probably a reward. Excellent. Sweet, so that's all of that sort of automated and set up right now. Uh, what do we do next with Britannia? I mean, there's a bunch of stuff that we could be doing. Mainly to do with the Guy Guardian, which we have not fought yet. Bear in mind, this has not been out that long, Britannia for well, 1.19, right? So that's the reason I didn't do any Britannia yet. Uh, a lot of people, I wouldn't say a lot, but a few people have made a couple of comments saying like, oh, you could just do some stuff with Britannia for the beginning of the pack. And I was like, yeah, I could have done if it was out, but unfortunately it wasn't out. Otherwise, I probably would have because you know how much I love Britannia. But yeah, let's go and kill a guy Guardian, and then that might be the end of the episode. So, I'm using the book because it, it, it tells you exactly where to place the, the items, right? So, this one is right here. So, I have not made a beacon yet, either. It's crazy the amount of stuff that I actually haven't made, and I'm already, like, ridiculously far into this. This just shows you how different everyone's paths can be. Because a lot of people starting the pack now, or as we mentioned earlier, a lot of people starting the pack now might go straight on into Britannia. But we didn't have that option when we started. Oh, I need a beacon. Never mind, we do have a beacon. <coughs> Complete. And then we need to right click a Terra Steel. Oh yeah. Yeah, see, there you go. Bring home the beacon. Why <laughs> oh, it's making a weird sound? Has it always made a weird sound? Odd. Anyway, to start this, you shift and right click. Oh, I forgot there was a very loud music. This should be easy enough. The guy guardian is invisible when you've got shaders on. Okay, I've turned the shaders off just for this fight, and then we'll turn it back on straight after. Ah, oh, okay. Well, they've capped the damage that he can take, I think. Okay, he's doing the thing where he spawns loads of mobs, right? Skip. And there we go. We killed we killed the Gaia Guardian. And we got these Gaia Spirits. Wonderful. I'm actually not going to turn the shaders back on for a sec. Because we are going to use these Gaia Spirits. To make... Where's the Gaia Ingot? Gaia Spirit Ingot. There we go. And now we're going to fight the second version of that. And just like that, we got another kill. And that gave us loads of runes, which is really cool. But also, Dice of Fate. Which got us the Ring of Loki. That one's not great. That's for, like, swapping stuff. Uh, but what we could do is we could do this several times. And get like a load of those um, dices. Oh yeah, I'm going to turn. And then that one and then done. Better. There we go. Yeah, we can get a load of the dice. And then the dice will. Uh, what is it? Dice of fate. This thing. That can get you a bunch of things from Botania, so that's Botania. Where is it? There's the rings. Ah. So these are all the things you can get. 
The one ring that everyone really likes is the Ring of Odin because it gives you an extra layer of hearts. We don't actually need that because we've already got like a ridiculous amount of hearts and yeah, I think uh, <laughs> I haven't even eaten all the different types of food to get myself hearts because I don't don't really need it thanks to the mech suit, right? Uh, but that's that's also that's a really good one if you don't have mech suit or anything like that yet and you're still worried about your your like health. So very very good ring, ring of Thor. I think you use this in conjunction. Oh, can we not do the control thing? Where's where's my book? Uh, Le Lexica Britannia. Uh, oh, you can't see what they do until you unlock them. Okay, that makes sense. But yeah, there's a few in here, like the the fruit of that thing. Uh, this one you can just eat, but it it takes mana instead of like hunger or something right so so as in you eat it when you've got mana in your inventory you can make a mana tablet and then fill that with mana and then use that for your food and this just is like a conduit for that uh the king a key of king's law this one's flipping awesome i think it's a, a fate stay night reference uh, talking about anime how do we not like get into Britannia like sooner We've been talking about anime quite a bit recently with the old, you know, uh, Titan and everything. But yeah, uh, <laughs> I think uh, Vasky, they really like anime and they, they've added like a bunch of references. They also really like RuneScape, which is another thing that I personally love. Uh, I, I've got a maxed main. To be fair, I'm on the old or the new, what, what do you call it? RuneScape 3. So it, it's not old school RuneScape, but... It's still an accomplishment. That's what I tell myself, at least. Uh, so, yeah. There's uh, the Barrows Brothers right here. Uh, and you add these to the Terra Steel Helmet, and it gives you different effects. Like, this one partially heals you, which is just like the Guthin set. I, I've talked about this in the past, when I think in Ocean Block, when we got, like, everything from the Guy Guardian. Uh, but, yeah. All of these really, really cool. So eventually, I, I think I'm going to probably kill the Gaia Guardian several times. I don't believe you get duplicates until you've finished all of them. So I'm going to get this one, this one, this one, this one, this one, and this one before I get my Ring of Loki again. So that's pretty good. There's also the chance you get the Pinkinator. And this one you apply to the Wither and it makes it pink. That's all it does. It's flipping funny. Ugh. But anyway, that's that's enough for today, I think. So thank you for watching. Thanks for joining. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.